So, namaste, everyone. My, my name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com, and I just want to welcome everyone here. Uh, gosh, I see Anastasia, Julie, Meg, Jolie. People are filing right in. Vincent, Giuseppe, namaste. Linda, Debbie, Jessica, Sherry, oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. Hello, Nicole Marie, Barbara. Manuela, Liz Hargreaves, namaste everyone. Thank you for joining me on this N5D Facebook Live. And today I want to talk about the shifting energies that are going on right now. As a lot of people are witnessing, there's big shifts that are going on in many of our lives. And uh, if you'd like to comment about it too, just uh, make a little comment there on the side. And I'll try to keep up with everybody. I have a hard time doing that. It's so hard to talk about what you're going to be talking about and pay attention to everyone over uh, what I'm seeing right now is I have a, a chat box on the right hand side of my screen and it's just going by pretty quickly here so anyway namaste to everyone and uh, thank you for joining me um, as you know we just recently had this solar flare uh, and it was earth facing and we got the effects of the solar flare with this earthquake that was in Mexico City, a 7.1 on the Richter scale. And I don't know about you guys, but for the last couple weeks or so, I've been incredibly drained. I'm really, really tired, sleeping long hours. This is in opposition to like three weeks ago where I couldn't sleep at all. I, there was a period uh, about three weeks ago where I slept, I, I went without sleep, for about 27 hours or so, straight up, no naps, no nothing, just all sorts of energy. But then after that solar flare, boy, a lot of us absorbed a lot of that energy. And I think what happened was we ended up doing a lot of work in the astral realms to help try to negate the effects of that earthquake. It possibly could have been a lot worse. Uh, Nicole Marie's mentioning that there is a new moon tonight. And as with every new moon, be sure you put your intentions out there for what you'd like to have in this upcoming month. But uh, I don't know if you guys have been feeling that. Um, as I mentioned, for the last couple of weeks or so, I've been extremely tired. And uh, I've been feeling these energies. And uh, when, when these solar flares come in, a lot of times we don't even pay attention to what's going on. Um, because we just think, oh, well, I just happen to be tired. But there's something much greater going on when these are happening. So pay attention to when these solar events are happening because you are absorbing that energy that's coming in. And for some reason, um, it makes us, many of us have to, you know, just sleep a lot. So let me know if you guys are um, feeling that as well. We also have the spring, or I'm sorry, the fall equinox coming up. And oh, I love all these little hearts that are going on. Thank you, everyone. Um, we have the uh, fall equinox coming up and a lot of times that when, when you think of fall, you think of the harvest, right? And it's the time of death and rebirth, you know, subsequent rebirth in the spring equinox. But what this means, um, the fall equinox is it's basically facing our own darkness. So those people who haven't been grounding, who aren't um, taking the time to uh, work on raising their vibrations, uh, they're probably probably going to have a rough time coming up in the next month or so. And this is an opportunity. Don't, don't look at it as a bad thing. It's always an opportunity to grow. So it gives you a chance to really face the shadow self. And don't be afraid to look within. You know, none of us are perfect. We all have our flaws. And uh, be sure that you do look within to see, you know, what is it that is drawing these situations to me? 
Um, and sometimes it takes a, a good look in, in the mirror. And uh, sometimes we might not necessarily like what we see, and sometimes we may tell others something that they might not necessarily want to hear, and it can get touchy in those situations too. So there's a lot of inner reflection and inner work that goes on uh, with this spring equinox. So make sure that you're taking the time to do that, to, to really make that connection, not only within, but to your um, Mother Earth as well, and um, of course with all your guides and angels and everyone. Um, so I'm feeling that this shift is picking up. It's, I don't know about you guys, it just feels like it's getting faster and faster. And that's probably the need of why we need much more sleep lately. Um, are you guys experiencing that? Have you been more tired lately? Uh, let me know. I'm seeing um, who else is here. We have Kim Hutchinson just joined. Uh, Susan, Ralph, Michelle, Rodriguez, Westich, Liz. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind on this already. <laughs> Um, hello, uh, Sherry and Vicki, Andrew, Linda. So Liliana Benko is saying that there was an earthquake in Japan and New Zealand too after Mexico. And I'm sure that these are all related to the um, solar flares that are going on. There's a direct correlation. You can predict that when some of these big earthquakes are coming. Unfortunately, they are due to the solar flare. So, and they usually take several days to arrive. And that's an opportunity for us as light workers to really get together and to help negate the effects before they happen. You know, maybe we can do uh, like some kind of meditation or group intentions um, when we see these solar flares coming and maybe as an experiment, see if we can negate what happens. That would be a cool experiment. If you guys are interested in doing that, I'd like to lead it up or if somebody else would like to lead it up, I'll definitely back that as well. Uh, Ralph Browns, Browns has a question. What will happen on September, September 23rd? <laughs> Nothing. Um, you'll have a, a, a day just like everyone else. Um, that whole September 23rd date is a bunch of religious BS as far as I'm concerned. It's really spearheaded by the religious uh, zealots, so to speak. Um, they're making something out of nothing. Um, it will be a big day if that's what they intend and enough people intend on something happening, but they're not making it sound like it's going to be something very positive. Um, personally, I think September 23rd will come and go but you know as for like there will be no rapture we're all going to still be here um, so just keep working on your yourself go within and uh, like I've been saying all along love ground yourself express gratitude forgive and keep a high vibration and um, everything will fall into place but I'm very leery of anyone who gives a date as a matter of fact, I have an article on N5D about all these failed end time predictions. And after September 23rd, I can pretty much guarantee you that'll be added to the article. Okay. So yes, a lot of people are awakened. Uh, and yes, um, people are agreeing that, that it is speeding up faster and being tired. That is all part of it. Definitely. Um, so what we're seeing is this happening within many people. And then we're also seeing microcosms of this happening within ourselves and our own relationships. Um, and just so you guys know, I'm just going to put it out there real quick. I'm not going to explain the who's, what's, why's, and how's, but Michelle and I are no longer together. She's going her way. I'm going mine. I wish her nothing but love and happiness. And uh, it's just something we decided on peacefully and amicably. And uh, I wish her nothing but uh love and happiness and uh i have nothing else other to say you know me i always take the high road you know it's just part of life and this is one of the things that i'm experiencing through the fall equinox is the uh you know the death of a relationship and it's okay 
and it's okay. So, you know, please don't feel sorry for me. Um, this isn't the first time we've broken up and it gets a little easier each time. But like I said, you know, she's, she's, a, she's a great woman. It's just not for me. <laughs> uh, you know, the relationship was, you know, it's over and uh, I'm moving on. So, and I'm, I'm sure she is too. And I wish her nothing but love. So speaking of uh, moving on, if you guys have any questions you would like to ask me, um, just type like a couple of question marks before your question. And then I can see it as it's coming up. Uh, we have uh, Simone. Good day from Australia. Hello from Siesta Key. <laughs> uh, Michelle Stosner is saying, yes, definitely more sleep and intense energies. Definitely. And it's really hard to keep up with these energies, too, because they keep, just keep coming in. And just when you think that it plateaued or you have a break, bam, another one comes in. So what we're looking at is these in, intense energies to continue for a while. I have no idea when it's going to stop, honestly. And all you can do is just make sure you ground yourself, stay grounded, keep that vibe high, you know, and, uh, you know, love, express gratitude and forgive. And you'll ride this out with flying colors. But like I said, too, you know, the fall equinox is a time of facing our own darkness. So things might get a little shaky for some people and in relationships or within their families or you know, something at work or something. But you'll get through it. And uh, just stay positive and uh, keep those um, thoughts of positivity going while negating all those negative ones. Namaste, Bridget. <laughs> Don't bother listing 127 people. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> Kim Hutchinson, uh, she has an awesome article. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll be republishing it tomorrow on N5D, um, dealing with ascension symptoms. But she's saying she is feeling exhausted, as I am too. Um, it's funny, before like latest shift, I had so much energy for that. Once again, there must have been some kind of energy going on where I was 